So it was, it was almost like when I thought of it, you know, it's a good gesture to get the publishing back. But I kind of wanted, you know, I thought maybe, you know, he would, you know, retro it a little bit or give a little compensation, compensation with it. So, you know, because it was a, it was a, it's not as, as, as pro, it's not, the streams don't create the revenue they used to create. So, like, right now, they're, they don't create much money. So it's like you're giving it back after the money's not coming in the way it used to. So it's just it's a nice gesture, but what can we do with that? Did, did he, you know, did he like, himself or anybody from his office contact you in advance and let you know that this was going to happen? Definitely. He called, he, he called me on the three-way once again, on the FaceTime. It's the second time I spoke to him. And then let me tell you, Prez, he said to me, he's like, Curry, I'm ready to do the right thing and I'm taking this love thing serious. I said, well, if you're taking the love thing serious, then I stand by you. And then I said, he said, you know, um, so I just want you to know that I'm giving the artist back the publishing. I want you to know, be one of the first ones to know I'm giving you back your publishing. I was like, thanks. So you're going to give me back the publishing? He was like, yeah. I said, so as soon as you give it back to me, can you buy it? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I want you to buy it. I really don't want it. Can you buy it? Like, just give me an offer. He was like, nah, I'm going to give it to you and I want you to do what you want to do with it. I said, well, I want to sell it to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that one went. You know, but he did. He called me on the on the three-way. And then so I told him, I said, if you do the right thing, I do the right thing. He said, well, you do the right thing. Sean Perez, I took my book down from, for, uh, nobody could buy this book for at least three months took it all the way off the market and they started selling the book for $150. So I was like, Whoa. And then he didn't actually follow up, follow up with what he said he was going to do. So I was just like, you know what, let me just go ahead on and continue to do what I've been on. I put my book back up for sale. I never heard from him again. And that well, what was you it. mean he didn't do what he yeah, said he was going to do. Yeah. You know, um, we we had a you know the read you know why I took the book no. off from sale, you know why I stopped wow. selling it, I stopped selling it because I said okay if you're taking this love thing right, I'm a, I'll take you know I know what you want me to do, right? I stopped selling the book right, and I, we I, I was a time I was trying to get to him like okay if I stop selling this book, this is how much money I make off the book a year, right? And if I'm going to stop selling this book, at least give me what I'm going to make off of the book. And I just totally, you, you can have it. You know what I'm saying? If you're taking this serious and it's about forgiving. So if he told me that, you know, Mark, I'm sorry, or forgive me, I would forgive him because you have to, you have to be able to forgive. Right. And a man can't really call himself a man if he can't control his emotions. So as a man, we're not going to put our emotions into it. We're going to say, okay, if that's what you want to do, then I'm with you. If you're, willing to, if you're ready to make that change in your life, I'm standing with you. But I, if I'm going to stand with you, I'm not going to have a book called Dancing with the Devil, How Puff Burnt the Bad Boys of Hip Hop, if you're trying to make that change. And he said he was trying to make that change. I said, okay. I stopped selling the book. I just never heard from him again. He never, he didn't have a follow up. But he did give you back your publishing. It. He gave me, but I could, let me, let me, and I can explain, let me explain something like this with publishing. Giving someone back their publishing is almost like, because the publishing made money. So if you're giving someone back their publishing, it seems like you would be giving them back the money that the stream made. When you're giving them back the publishing rights, that's another thing, but the money that the, the publishing made is different. So it's, if you're looking at publishing without money, publishing, like if the publishing stream is not making money, it's really not a good stream, right? So if you're giving back publishing and it's not making no money, it's almost basically like just giving you back the ownership to the music that you wrote, but the money is not there. That makes sense. The money's not there. For especially if you don't have a song like Bad Boy for Life, for an example, I still get emails from all over the nation about people wanting to use this song, two seconds of it on this. They want to use it on Super Bowl. They want to use it on this. And this is how much money they offering. And you see it. Certain songs that have those kind of legs, but other songs like, let's say, um, 
other songs we may have did on the album. Um, Roll With Me with 8 Ball and MJG. That song, giving me the publishing back on that, nobody's really listening to that song anymore, and I highly doubt that they're going to call and want to put that song in a movie 10 years from now. So it's like giving back something that really doesn't have value. The value's not there. Understood. Um, but, you know, again, that, that's the beauty of publishing. Uh, you don't know who is going to use it and when. Right now, I'm, I'm never know. Quite, I, I, I'm pretty sure that Mario Winans is somewhere ecstatic because the weekend and Metro Boomin used uh, that sample from "I Don't Want to Know." Yeah, I don't want to know. Don't mm-hmm. know. So, you know, right now, your publishing might not be worth what it once was. But who's to say? You know, we're living in an era right now where all of the kids, they're sampling music from the 90s and the early 2000s. Who's to say that a hit right. record is not going to be made tomorrow on one of your records? And that could be the thing that feeds your family right. for the next few years. So, you know, I just don't right. want you to be short-sighted just because you're publishing right. at this moment is not as valuable as it mm-hmm. once was. You, that don't mean tomorrow it's not going to be worth its weight in gold. Uh, d- 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 right. But you, you know, Press, I'm totally understand, totally with you, but like, let's say before we did a deal with BMI and ASCAP, we did a deal with them for, uh, for performance rights, for when the song is played on the radio or when it's played on television. Then we did another deal, let's say EMI, Sony ATV, another publishing thing, and that was for the sales, the mechanicals, right? The sales and all of those kind of things, right? So now people are streaming more than they're buying records. They're streaming more than um, you're seeing it on TV or on the radio. We never cut a deal for streaming. So now they're streaming our music, right? But we never cut a deal for them to stream it. So it's just another way. Uh, the music has gone into another direction as far as how it's being sold and how it's being, pre- you know, um, how it's, you know, how it's being sold and who's buying it. It's different. And, and streaming has kind of like taken over that. So uh, even even though you didn't personally sign a deal for streaming, if the publishing is yours, mm-hmm. the money is going to be collected on your behalf. So you didn't have to do the deal right. personally. You know, that, that's why companies like ASCAP or BMI exist. You're still going to get your money. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but, right, but the rate that they pay for streaming is this. The yeah, rate that they pay for low. streaming it is. Um, yeah, is not it's very it. low. Yeah, it's I, I agree with you 100% there. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.